Hi, welcome to this location. We're shooting today for Bones and for a Canadian editorial, this fantastic location, Cherry Tree Cottage, somewhere out in the Sticks of Kent. Working today with a single light setup, which is the um, Gemini 750 with a travel pack, which is fantastic for this type of work because it's portable, can move it around, and it gives out quite a bit of power. The sun wasn't out, although it is now, so what we had to do is use the sunlight reflector to emulate the sunshine. And what we did, we placed it quite low to emulate the, the low light, which will warm up in post-production for the early evening sunlight that you see. Um, the quality of the light on this is fantastic. You don't need to put much power through it at all to get a lovely soft uh, translucent effect on the skin. But yeah, thoroughly recommend it for this type of lighting. We've just finished the last look, so we're on to the next one. Um, and as you can see, the sunshine's really come out now. And although we were using the little light packs and everything that were working well, we've got to over, overrule the sunshine now. So we're gonna to have to overpower it, underexpose it slightly. So what we've done is we've switched to the Creo 1.2, which is a nice new pack by Bones, which we like very much. Uh, we're gonna use one of the power heads and we're still gonna use the um, sunlight reflector to try and recreate the sun still. So why did we use the um, Bones sunlight reflector? Well, for me, it's about making the light continuous and having a continuity between the morning when the light was pretty rough and a bit low and blue to this afternoon where we could take some power out of the sunshine and balance it with a Creo and a different type of light source. So continuity of light source, control of light, uh, and I suppose the, the lightness on the inside of the reflector gave us that beautiful, soft, early evening glow with a bit of post-production it will balance for this time of day 